Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool a Week. If you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So what is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, if you ask me, there's always situations where you need to a little more spacing, a little more gap in situations, and you need to make that happen. Sometimes you have pieces butted up and you need to spread it out just a tad bit just to give you that space either to sliding a gasket if you're welding you need some space in between or if you're a HVAC either you're removing motors or taking apart some other stuff so with that being said guys this week we are going to be taking a look at the Williams setup wedges guys so as you can tell right here it's gonna be three different wedges and if you don't know what a wedge is here you go these are gonna be some wedges so of course the first one first of all they're going to be made in the USA as you can see right there they're all made in the USA so for anybody that just buys American made well there you go here's one for the books so for the first one it's going to be the Williams WG-3 now this is going to be a three inch long wedge right here and it's going to be one inch wide and also it's going to be a uh, 16th of an inch thick and in the back you're gonna have up to a quarter inch thick now why are you gonna be using these well sometimes I like to sharpen these babies on the side either get my grinder and clean it up and give it a little sharpness to it and the main purpose is sometimes you're gonna be having flanges put up and the pieces are going to be too too close to each other so in that case you can space out your little wedge hammer it in there and then give it just enough space as you can see right there you're gonna give it about a sixteenth or or a quarter an eighth whatever the case is most of the times you're gonna be having sixteen inch gaskets or I'm sorry about that one sixteenth of an inch gasket or you're gonna have eighth of an inch gasket so you're gonna need that spacing that way you can slide it in which perfect scenario would be a ring gasket that we can slide it in all the way in now if you have a full face gasket then you're probably gonna have some issues on that so that's gonna be the three inch right here the next one is going to be the Williams WG-5 now this is gonna be of course five inches long right here let me move this to the side right there and as you can tell it even gives you the model number under the WG5 now like I said it's gonna be five inches long it's gonna be one inch wide and then it's also gonna be a, inch, a sixteenth of an inch thick and in the back it's going to be half inch of a thick so of course guys they are wedges so let's say this baby doesn't have enough you could go ahead and slide the other one in there and give it a little more gap on there so that's gonna be this baby right here now the next one is going to be the Williams WG-6 now of course this is gonna be six inches long right there and then it's gonna be inch and a quarter wide and it's also gonna have a sixteenth of an inch thick and it's gonna be three quarters thicker which is gonna allow you more spacing on it now like I said I like to grab my grinder and grind it off a little bit that way you have a little sharpness right there and as you can tell it's gonna be just much more of a fine point of course I still need to grind it off a little bit now push come and shove sometimes I'm changing out motor pumps to I'm sorry I'm changing out the motors to pumps which is gonna be the volute and the motor so you sometimes they're stuck in there I like to get my hammer in there and just chisel it in and gently now of course I have these three right here and the best case scenario is having more than that so just in case you're wondering they do come in these little packages right here and of course I do have more which I have purchased on them now of course this is going to be the WG6 and of course we have the WG3 right here and another one is going to be the WG5 so like I said guys I keep multiple on me all the time they have little tethering right there if you want to go ahead and string them up that way you don't go ahead and lose them so the reason we keep multiple on, on them that way you could go all the way around just in case you need more spacing on it and you could go ahead and add multiple to them so guys again this is a pretty handy tool if you're doing a bunch of mechanical or if you're a welder of course like I say you're gonna be giving it your gap for the welding or you're probably gonna be tapping some metal bending it that way it takes 
it takes shape or whatever form you want level it out so again guys this is what we're going to be taking a look at this is the williams setup wedges guys i definitely recommend them they do come in handy and of course like i said they are made in the usa if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave your comments below and let me know anything y'all would like me to review and also guys we're almost going to hit the 1500 subscribers i appreciate everybody's support and thanks for watching one total week guys